Hi, I'm Prof. Dr. Arvind Kumar, Chairman, Institute of Chest Surgery, Robotic Chest Surgery and Lung Transplantation at Medanta, the Medicity, Gurugram. These days, many of you who have completed their general surgical training would be at a very critical juncture in their career to decide on the next step that is choosing super specialization for your career. It's a very, very important decision in your life because the decision that you take today will not only determine your future professional happiness, but also to a great extent, your personal happiness. So it's a very major decision. Based on my 35 years of experience as a postgraduate teacher, in the next few minutes, I'll try to discuss with you how you make this choice and in the process assist you in this decision making. So when it comes to choosing a super specialty career for yourself, there are three important points that you should consider. Number one, what is the present case load, case spectrum and the projected case load scenario over the next two or three decades. Number two, what kind of training facilities are available where you can go and train yourself? And last but not the least, after you finish your training, what kind of job prospects will be there? What kind of professional satisfaction you will have in this field? Let's quickly discuss each of these one by one and see where general thoracic surgery fares as far as these three yardsticks are concerned. So when it comes to the case load, in general thoracic surgery, there is a huge case load available in India today. There is lot of tuberculosis and related surgical problems which are still there in the society. There is an ever increased number of cancer cases, whether it is cancer of the lung, esophagus or other tumors in the chest, which is there. There is an ever increasing load of trauma cases of the chest, which is there. More and more patients are today needing lung transplantation and that's a big volume, which is there. Interventional bronchology, that is bronchoscopic procedures and their applications are also there. And all these exist across various organs in the chest. So many people think that chest means only lung. No, there is chest wall, there's pleura, there are two lungs, there's a tracheobronchial tree, there's esophagus, there is diaphragm, and there is mediastinum. So across these seven or eight organs, you have benign diseases, malignant diseases, trauma, in addition, lung transplant, bronchoscopy, interventional bronchology. There is such a huge load which is there. And more importantly, over the next two or three decades, this case load is only going to increase because of various factors. So case load wise, huge case load today and tomorrow. Second point, training facilities. When you look at the training center, there are two aspects which are important. One, the teachers who are going to train you and two, the infrastructure and facilities where you are going to get trained. So when you look at Institute of Chest Surgery at Medanta and Medanta as the hospital where you will be trained, you realize that this hospital has more than 40 departments and top of the country people in various departments in various capacities and when you come to the institute of chest surgery in this department which is presently led by me with over 35 years of experience at all india institute and now here and i'm supported by my colleagues dr bilal dr harsh dr sukram dr mohan and dr sumit who bring with them a vast experience in the field of thoracic surgery and six of us together make the largest 
chest surgery department in the country. Presently, we have six DNB fellows who are in position and two of them have just cleared their exams. In terms of infrastructure, which starts from the outpatient department to inpatient department to operation theater with state-of-the-art facilities to ICUs and other support departments, we are second to none in the country. The hospital has state-of-the-art support facilities, whether it is radiology, pathology, gastroenterology, cardiology, nephrology, I mean, you name a department and state-of-the-art departments are there and within our department i'm very proud to say that we are the only exclusive thoracic surgery department which has a 37 bed exclusive ward with its own hdu eight beds reserved in the icu and two dedicated theaters reserved for us 24 by 7. we do open surgery we do video assisted thoracoscopic surgery. We do robotic surgery across all organs in the chest. We do lung transplantation. And recently we started doing bronchoscopies and bronchoscopic interventions of various types. And we are also now focusing on very selective topic for example management of solitary pulmonary nodule is a very exciting field and we are developing a group within ourselves which will focus exclusively on this so we offer the entire spectrum of diseases the entire spectrum of procedures and a very futuristic view of the same We are not only focused on clinical care, teaching takes a very major part of our overall time. So we have a structured training program, theoretical as well as practical. We also focus on research. Probably we are the only department which has an exclusive academics and research section where we encourage the residents to write papers, present research work outside, attend conferences and all kinds of community research and other activities also. So in terms of training, I think it's what I call 360 degree training, which is provided to the residents, not just volumes only, quality with volume, focus on excellence, that is our motto. When it comes to the third part, that is the job prospects. Unfortunately, thoracic surgery has been a grossly neglected field and there are very few dedicated thoracic surgeons and still fewer dedicated thoracic surgery centers across the country. With the result, anyone who passes out from here after the kind of training, 360 degree training, holistic training that we give, he has no competition in his or her city. If he joins an institution, he usually starts as a head of the department. And if he decides to do his own practice, he has no competition, worthwhile competition. So in terms of plus, Medanta Hospital itself has a very ambitious expansion program. We have units in Lucknow, Patna. The next one is coming up in Noida. There is one planned in Mumbai and there are many others in the pipeline. So there are going to be plenty of jobs within the Medanta system and of course outside also across the country. So friends, when you look at thoracic surgery as a career option, you look at case volume, it's second to none. You look at training facility, the Institute of Chest Surgery at Medanta offers you world-class teaching and training facility. And having done these two, when you go out and want to settle yourself, whether in job or in your practice, there is going to be hardly any competition after the kind of training you would have received here. So I feel that thoracic surgery 
and Institute of Thoracic Surgery at Medanta will be a wonderful choice to make today in the light of the various points that I have discussed with you. I hope the detailed description that I have provided to you has been of help to you, will be useful to you and I encourage you to reach out to any one of us should you need any more information or guidance about the or clarification about this issue. I pray to God to help you in choosing your super specialty wisely because I once again say that the decision you make today is going to determine your happiness tomorrow. Thank you so much and God bless all of you. Bye.